Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it as always. Today I am beyond pumped because I have another Walmart shoe haul for y'all and it is fan freaking tastic. I'm not even kidding, it is so good. Several days ago I was shopping around in my local Walmart and I was looking for shoes to show y'all that you haven't seen on my channel before and really and truly there was not much selection. Everything is really picked over at this point. Um, they don't have a whole lot of sizes. They had one pair that I'm going to show you in a few minutes that I haven't showed on my channel before. But the majority of these is going to be online that is sold and shipped from Walmart. So it's not going to be like a vendor or something like that where you don't know the return policy. All this stuff is going to be very easily returned at your local Walmart or you can send it back through walmart.com. So I just wanted to disclose that really quickly. Also, I wanted to disclose that everything on this channel, everything on this video is bought and paid for by myself. I am not sponsored or coerced or working with Walmart in any way, shape or form. I bought everything myself and I bought it for y'all. So if y'all are interested in seeing what I got, which is really good, <laughs> from Walmart this year for the holiday season, then please keep on watching. So the first pair of shoes that I picked up from Walmart are my absolute favorite of the bunch. I love them so much. They just remind me of Disco 70s, like the best version of that. Like Forrest Gump, Jenny, when she was addicted to heroin. And this is what they look like. Unbelievable like video and photos do not do these shoes justice. It is just the most beautiful, like glowing rose gold snakeskin shoe I have ever seen. This is from the brand Scoop. So if you're not familiar with the brand Scoop, I think it's a subsidiary of Walmart. If I'm not mistaken, it's more or less like Time and True or Faded Glory, but online exclusively. So this is what they look like. And these are absolutely stunning. It has a one inch, maybe a little bit more of a platform right here in the toe bed area. And then the heel on the back is this big chunky like snake skin heel. It's about five inches right here. And these like I'm already five foot 10. And these make me six foot at least one thing I will say is I find that they run a little bit small. So I picked these up in a size nine. If I didn't mention these are $32.95 very much worth the price um, but the sizing is a little bit off considering that the toe bed right here the strap is a little on the tight side so it's like my my toes can't get in there all the way and go down to this area they were able to fit and they still looked nice but if you have wider feet than i do or strappy sandals in the front kind of drives you crazy then definitely size up a half size. So when you look at these head on, this is what they look like. So they have two straps that go across the feet. And I don't know if you can tell, but this like black detail right here is almost like a micro suede. So it's got the really, really shiny, almost foiled rose gold detail, but then the black is, is textured. So it has a little bit of a feel and a grip to it. Very, very interesting. I've never seen shoes quite like this, especially for this price point. And then whenever you go to the insole, this is what it looks like. So it's got a really nice cushiony insole, especially right there underneath the ball of the foot and also at the heel of the foot. So it's really, really comfortable to wear um, besides them being a little bit tight on the front. Whenever you turn these to the side, this is what the strap looks like. So it's a nice forgiving strap. It has a little bit of flex to it. So it has some like elastic right here by the buckle. This is what the heel looks like, a very big chunky heel. And then when you flip it over, they have lots of grip. So it has the uh, diagonal grippy like um, rubber material on the bottom here. And then the heel right here doesn't have any sort of grip to it. It's just like that hard plastic piece. Overall, I am very excited about these shoes. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these on. I've already worn them. They are freaking fantastic. I haven't worn them like out and about, but I've worn them in the house and just trying them on walking around and trying with different outfits. And I am obsessed. Very holiday appropriate, very Christmas and New Year's Eve appropriate. I am just in love with these shoes. Favorite top, probably like top three shoes of all time in my collection. The second pair of shoes that I picked up from Walmart is also from the brand Scoop. 
and this is what they look like. These are really, really cute ankle booties and they are in this like beautiful cognac brown micro suede, almost like a faux suede material. It is a very luxurious feeling, very, very soft and just, I just love the detail of these shoes. And these are actually better quality, in my opinion, than the Time and True ones that had the same micro suede. And I think they're around the same price. Maybe a little, these were a little bit more expensive, but all in all, I am more obsessed with these than I was with them. So this is what they look like from the side. And then this is what they look like from the back. So they have a really big chunky heels, kind of like that cork detail. And it's also about a four and a half to a five inch heel here. And then when you flip them around, it has a really cute, very accessible zipper. So that's how you get them on and off. And this is what the insole looks like. So once again, this is a really soft and cushy insole, particularly in the heel and in the um, ball of the foot. So very, very soft, very easy to walk in. I mean, if you're not a heel person, then you're definitely not going to like these at all. I mean, sometimes I like to wear a heel, but sometimes I don't like to wear a heel. Sometimes they hurt my back. Here lately, I've been all about heels, so I am crazy about these. When you flip them around, this is what the bottom part looks like. So it has a little bit of a non-skid, kind of the diagonal rubber material. But once again, on the heel, it's like that hard plastic piece. So really be careful if you're walking around in slippery conditions because you will bust your butt if you're not careful with these shoes. Uh, I would say the platform is about one and a half to two inches. So I think they're a little bit taller than the shoes I just showed you, those open-toed shoes but not by much. I picked these boots up for $34.95, which is a little bit more expensive than what I'm used to paying for with my usual Walmart shoe hauls. Um, but for the brand Scoop, it's very fashion forward, very on trend, and I do appreciate the way these look on. They're just very chic and cool looking, so I think they do denote the price tag, but just keep in mind that this haul is going to be a little bit more expensive than my usual like $14 uh, boots or $20 boots. I think everything is more like in the $30 to $40. So just some, something to keep in mind. But this is the second pair. I love them so much. The next pair of boots that I want to show y'all that I picked up from Walmart are also in my top tier favorites. And this is what they look like. This is also from the brand Scoop. And I picked these up for $44.95. Once again, these are a little bit more expensive but they have lots of details that I want to show y'all and they're very, very good quality. So first of all, this is what the material looks like. So it's almost this glossy, but not high shine faux leather, but it looks very much like real leather. These look very high quality, very, very cool looking on. And I am just crazy about these boots, to be honest. So first of all, let's talk about the buckles. And this is what they look like. So they have one kind of on the ankle right here, and they have another one that kind of straps around the arch. And these are actually functional um, straps, sort of. They're not like totally functional, so you can't tighten them up all the way. I'm gonna show you about that in a second. But you can take them off and adjust them and make them look a little bit more slouchy, if that makes sense. And then whenever you go up, it has an open side here. So that is a really, really cool detail whenever you're wearing jeans, especially like skinny jeans. You can kind of see that uh, like faux fur peeking through and it looks really, really awesome. Um, talking about the faux fur, this is what the faux fur looks like. So these are really, really warm. It's kind of that minky fabric and it's this really, really soft material. It reminds me very much of the onesie that I showed y'all in my last Walmart haul that I did, like the hood that had the faux, uh, the faux fur. It looks very much like that. So when you turn these around, they have a functional zipper. That's how you get these on and off. And this is what the inside looks like. So the fur goes down about halfway to your ankle. And then it has this really warm, kind of a cushy, quilty material on the inside. And it has the scoop. I'm going to try to show y'all. It has like the scoop insole. Ah, come on now. There it goes. So this is what the insole looks like. Once again, this is going to be the same kind of insole. It's very cushy, has that memory foam. And it's also... Um, at the like uh, ball of your feet as well as the heel. Not a whole lot of support in the middle, but that is okay because it's still very comfortable. When you turn these upside down, this is what the bottom part looks like. It's got kind of this strange 
textured rubber material that offers really no non-skid. So you're gonna have to really be careful whenever you're walking on slippery surfaces. Um, it has this really nice kind of a cork detailed heel that's probably about three inches or so. And it also gives you a little bit of height with about a half inch platforms. So these boots are really, really cool. They kind of remind me of a cross between a cowboy boot and a motorcycle boot, which is really, really interesting. So these are very, very nice quality boots. Very, very comfortable. A little bit on the more expensive side, as I mentioned before, but if you're in the market for some really cool holiday boots or something to gift to somebody else, then I think these would be a very good selection. So the final two boots that I wanna show y'all are probably gonna be returns for me. The first one is from the brand Scoop once again, and this is what they look like. These are priced at $42.95, a little bit expensive, especially for the quality. They're just not as high quality as I, th I thought they would be. And they're not as good looking in person as they are online. So this is what it looks like. And it's kind of a cross between a combat boot, like a Doc Martin boot, and a rain boot. And I think these are meant to be uh, water resistant or rain resistant. I'm not really sure 100% on that. So this is what the material looks like. And it's this really high shined material, very, very glossy and eye catching. And it is very pretty. I do appreciate that. It's just something different that you can wear with lots of different outfits. And then it has that um, stitching, like the contrast stitching that goes all the way around the sides. And it's kind of like a, a plastic material, so it's not a cork or anything like that. It's just a, a really kind of a dense plastic material. And then for the sole, it's this really soft and actually very slick. Um, I don't know. I don't know what this is. It's like a, it's like almost like a fabric. Like it has fibers in it, but it's also rubber. I'm not down with that. It reminds me of a flip-flop. If you've bought a really, really cheap flip-flop from Walmart, like the ones that are a dollar, that's what this feels like. It feels very, very cheap and not worth the price, especially $42.95. Just, uh, I'm not down with it. Um, the sides, as you can see, has this really nice elastic, so it's really, really stretchy, and that's how you get these on and off. You have to pull them on and off. And then the inside has a black insole. Once again, it has a memory foam insole that is supportive on the foot and on the heel. So overall, I'm not really impressed with these. They're definitely cute. Um, they're interesting, they're eye-catching, but the quality does not denote the $42, $43 price tag. They're just too expensive for what you're getting with these and I'm returning them. So the final booth that I wanna show y'all is one that I actually picked up in store, and this is what it looks like. And I just wasn't really impressed with the overall quality of these boots. These are from the brand Time and True, and I paid $29.98 for these. And if it wasn't for a couple of the details that I'm gonna show you, I probably would keep them. Um, there's uh, several aspects that I do like about them, but there's a lot more that I don't like about them. So let's get into it. First of all, they're this really nice black micro suede material, not like the other suede that I was showing you a little while ago. This feels more like a brushed fleece, if that makes sense, but a little bit more on the thinner side. It actually has a, a texture that it leaves on your hands. It's like it makes them feel kind of sticky, and I don't really like that. So whenever you look at these boots head on, they're nice and narrow, they're very cute. Um, I like the way they make my leg look. They're just very kind of sexy. They go up to the knee perfectly, and I do have thicker uh, calves, and they fit pretty good. They're a little bit on the tighter side, but it has a lot of elastic that runs all the way down the side of these boots, which will help them fit a lot of different sized calves. So when you turn it over, this is what the other side looks like, and this would be the side that is facing out. So whenever you see somebody wearing these boots, you're gonna see the zipper, and this is how you get them on and off. So whenever you open them up, you have kind of this faux leather detail here. It has the size, I picked these up in a size nine, and this is what the inside looks like. So it has kind of a cushy, a uh, foam type material, not a foam, but it's just like a polyester, a thicker polyester fabric in there. And it just makes it look really, really cheap, if you want me to be honest. It has kind of these rough edges that go around the sides here, and it's just not good looking. It doesn't make them look high quality, 
whatsoever. When you go down to the insole, this is what the insole looks like and it has a nice memory foam insole. So Time and True has really come a long way when it comes to insoles. Um, however, if you want these to last you long term, you're probably going to have to get your own insole because over time these insoles come out very easily. So if you decide to wear them with thinner socks and you sweat, they're probably gonna pull up whenever you take these off. One thing that I do like about these boots is the heel height. It has a very reasonable heel. It's great for long-term wear. If you wanna wear these to work, if you wanna wear these out and about, going about your day, going shopping and whatnot, going to church, you can definitely wear these without having um, like problems, back aches, leg aches, feet aches, and they're very, very comfortable in the long term. When you turn these over to the bottom, this is what they look like. And they have a pretty good non-skid material on the bottom. So it has a good bit right here. And then it has a really non-stick, um, grippy heel. So that is very good. However, that being said, overall, I just do think these are not as high quality as I've purchased from Time & True in the past. For $29.98, basically $30, they could have done a whole lot better. So. For those reasons, I'm definitely gonna be returning these. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for this Walmart holiday shoe haul. I hope y'all found this video helpful and enjoyable. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, once again, if y'all are interested in seeing how I achieve this makeup look, I'm going to leave a link down in the description box below, as well as a link right up here somewhere. So please check that out if y'all are interested. With that being said, thank y'all once again so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, and I'll be seeing y'all very, very soon. Have a very safe, happy, healthy, and fun holiday season. Bye.